Preppers, today we're going to learn how to shut off our electrical supply to our home. Why would we want to shut off the electrical supply to our home? Shorts. Because there's an earthquake, then it can like short out and start a fire. That, that would be a possibility. What else? Shorting out. Yeah, if there was some kind of an electrical problem, even if there wasn't an earthquake or something else, if something happened, which would be really rare, but if something happened where there was electricity arcing, we would want to get that power shut off because that could be a, a real source of problem. So to do that, you would come out here, you'd go on the right side of this panel here. This is our meter that measures the electricity that we use. And this is where the, our power supply comes into the meter and then over to our supply panels. But you would want to take this metal bar and slide it over. This door will drop down so that it can open. How about everybody practice doing that? Okay, so let's have everybody, everybody get into that. Okay, very good. Easy enough. Okay, Christy. And you, it helps if you lift up on that panel just a little bit, but there you go, you got it. Okay. Okay, little Benjamin. <laughs> Got into there, okay. All right, Sam. All right. Like I said, it helps if you push up on that panel a little bit, it slides a little easier. Okay. There you go. Everybody's been able to get into the panel. Now, once inside here, let me tell you what's in here. Like I said, our power comes in here and through the meter and then over to these breakers. These are the breakers are like switches that allow the electricity to flow or not. This is a surge protector that we have in place. Um, this is a welder breaker for the garage and we're not using that one right yet but this is the main service disconnect right here it says 200 on it that means 200 amps service is what we have to our home down here we also have this 200 amps is broken into two boxes downstairs that are 100 amp boxes each so these are fed off of here and these supply two different panels down in our basement so in the event of an emergency, you'd want to come and take this one that says 200 and flip that breaker over. It's very easy to do. You're just going to slide it over. We won't do it right now because we don't want to shut off everything in our home, including our computers and such. In the event that you couldn't reach this, you could also turn that off here. Uh, these two breakers here that are each 100. And they just, the same way, you would just flip them over. They're easy to flip over. And that would shut off the flow of power to our home. So, any questions, little troopers? Let's have everybody try it. Not, don't really do it, but put your hands on it like you, you're going to do it, so you know how to do it. Um, what if I can't reach? Oh, well, that's a good question. That. Then, right then you could do those two bottom ones, and that would take care of everything in our home because that, this 200 amps is broken into these two breakers of 100 each, and so you could flip those two over, and that would shut off all the power in our home. Tell Other me again questions? why we would want to do that. In case of an electrical shortage or a fire. Um, well, not shortage, but a short. A short. So if some if. So if something's arcing or something's, if you're smelling burning insulation or something, it might mean that there's an electrical problem, a short of some kind or some kind of a some other problem. Okay, that's good. Any um, anything else? One sec. Um, what do each of these do? Should um, if you turned off one of these, what would it do? It would, each one of these smaller breakers would turn off part of our, one of the panels in our basement, which means it would shut off some of the power to our home. But if I turned off this one, it would only shut off about half the power to our home, or this one, the same. Together, they shut off all the power in our home, or this one here shuts off all the power to our home. Okay. All right. Any other questions, little preppers? Yes. Would we have to like do it fast or can we like we'd we'd want to get it taken care of pretty quickly yes we'd want to get it done really quickly because the longer it happens the more damage it's doing or the greater possibility that there is of a fire or of an injury so who would like to shut up the breaker box i would me okay me. sam sam Aww. go ahead and shut that breaker box all right very good 
All right, little preppers, fall in line. Ready, march. <laughs> 